నిన్ను చూడగలిగినే నిన్నాళ్లకు నిన్ను చూచి నాలుగైదు నెలలాయి నిన్న రేయి కలలోన కన్నులు గట్టినట్లుండా వెన్నుడా దిగ్గునే లేచి వెదికి కానక కన్నీరుచే పైట తడిసి కరిగి చింతనొందితి విడెమని ఎన్నమని వేడుకని నిద్దురయని ఎడబాసినది మొదలేమీయూ లేదుగా అడవిలో ప్రొద్దుగూక అంధకారమైన వానలో తడిసి దోవగానని దానివలేయున్న నిన్ను చూచి నాలుగైదు నెలలాయి I sang for my god in the temple and my king in the court. I sang for patrons in their homes and for lovers in mine. I sang for 400 years. 
till 1947, when the law criminalized me. Holding my hand tightly in his, he climbed out of bed and still filled with desire, we set out through the royal streets. Our lips were scarred red from love bites, our eyes heavy from lack of sleep, our pearl necklaces entwined, flowers falling in confusion from my hair. Revealing these signs of passion, the king as if the god of desire had taken physical form, entered his palace just before dawn. Then the stars began to fade like the flowers from the lover's bed cast aside in the early morning by the woman who had come in to clean. I was the forever auspicious one. Married to God, I could never be widowed. I was called to compliment the king in every royal and religious ceremony. I was famous for my artistry in all of Tanjavur and Madurai. My king was the head of the temple and the court. And I, the king's mistress, wife and even queen of the Nayaka kingdom. And yet they called me a prostitute. Papa, 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 Papa,
I was always controversial. They granted me sexual license and also rebuked me for having it. I lived in my own pleasure garden, come ghetto, performing padams in private and at the court. The padams were at the same time both devotional and erotic. This tension between the sacred and profane was at the heart of my identity, for the king was both my lover and lord. Each of the Padams was a love game between me as the courtesan and Muva Gopala. Muva Gopala was Krishna as cowherd but also the name by which I addressed my king as God. Hello. 
ఇంతలోనే అల్ల వాణి నన్ను గూర్చి ఎడబాయ జేసెగా దైవము చింతింపబని లేదు సేయు పూజాఫలము ఆరు నెలలైనను అతడు నేనొక చోట హాయిగా గూడియుంటిమా మారు కేళికి నెంతో వెతజెందితి గాని మనసు మనసొకటై ఉంటిమా అక్కరలు దీరగా గౌగిటిలో నడిగి ఎల్లి బిల్లిగనుంటిమా పక్కలోపల జేరి యాటలకైనా సతిపతులనుకొని ఉంటిమా ఓ చెలియరో చాలా ప్రొద్దు గృంకి ఒకనాడైనను జాగరమై ఉంటిమా బాల నెనరున ముచ్చటలాడుచు విరుల పాన్పుపై నుంటిమా కాలమెప్పటివలే వానితోనే గూడి కాపు జెంద జేసెగా ఓ చెలియరో చింతింప పని లేదు సేయు పూజా ఫలము మాయనేమరమైందనే ఆయుర్వలత్తిల్ తోండమ్మని విలక్కై తాయే కూడా విలక్కం చేయదా మోదనే తోయో మాయ వందనా తోయినాల్ పాడి మడిగినాల్ చిన్నిస్త పోయ పడియం బోధనవు మిండనవు తీనిల్ దుస్తాగం చెప్పేలోరం బావాయ్ చిట్టం చిరిగాలే ఉందొన్ని సేవిత్తే ఒంబట్రార్ మడిగి ఒట్టం పొల్లేదా పెట్టమన్నింటి కులత్తిల్ విరందే కుట్రవే రెంగలై కొల్లామని తోరాదే ఇట్రే పరేగంటు నా గోవిందాయట
You can see the slow shake there. Ma, not like that. Ma, riga ma pa ma. In an unhurried uh. fashion. You see the difference, isn't it? Like, ga ri ga. It involves a quicker movement, isn't it? It's like ga ga ri. From where it is taken? Ga ga. Supposing I have ended the previous phrase. Ah, Ma ga ri ga is taken off from ma ri ga. That ga is taken off from ri from ma. So the previous phrase and the succeeding phrase, musical phrase, also matters. And also the raga. What is more important in a padam is first you require a good voice, a modulating voice. And a sruti aligned voice. If I refer to Chetra Padam, I refer to this style only. We have got that style because Brindama probably he, she must have imbibed the style from her grandmother Vinodhanamal, and all the family members. It's not question of wearing. There may be variations in their own school. There may be variations, but the style of execution is same. It is just many flows and so smooth flowing, free flowing. They call in call it in Tamil. Taila dara sangeetam. So, you know, if you anoint it with oil, like the Lord, you know, taila dara. So, it's like, you know, very smooth flow of music. sense of relaxed feeling and I just find immense pleasure in listening to this. This slow music, not only that, with all the beautiful tonal connections, continuity, all that gives me, I mean, it's a listening pleasure. And once you are into it, you are dwelling in that experience, you know. You want to listen to that more and more. Somehow you are drawn towards that.
there is something about these songs that makes you understand your experience of life i too have fallen in love just like the nayaka in the padam i too have many desires sometimes these desires are fulfilled sometimes not i just keep singing to myself Yeah.